KB Entertainment. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to dive straight into it. It's time to hope y'all boys up. But before I dive into it, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification button. Now, in patch 8, there's a couple moves y'all should know. As you, as on my screen, you see that I'm doing the left and right cheese. If you don't know how to do left and right cheese, you about to learn today. The left and right cheese should be one of y'all go-to go to moves. Slashers, sharpshooters, especially shot creators, y'all should be knowing the left and right cheese. Now, the left and right cheese is very easy. Some people think it's very hard to do. Maybe just today don't know how to do it. The left and right cheese, you should not be doing, hitting the turbo button at all. All you got to do is hit the left analog and pull backwards and just move it left and right. You don't need to touch the right analog at all. You just move it left then right. When somebody look like they about to try to stop you in the left, you switch to the right. It's very hard to stop. It's one of the most cheesiest moves and the easiest cheese move to do. Especially if you're a shot career, this should be your go-to move, sharpshooter, go-to move. You already see the sharpshooters going crazy with this move. This move right here, you just need to have this in your arsenal. The left and right cheese. This move will help you a lot on offense. It can help you score. It can help you get people open. It's a lot of opportunities on that left and right cheese, man. I, I, had, I had to let y'all know, man. I had, to, I had to drop some fire for y'all. If you didn't hear me before, it's very easy to do. All you had to do, don't hit the turbo button at all. All you, all you had to do is hit the left analog, move it left and right, kind of pull it back, and hit it left and right. Just left and right. Very easy. It's so easy to do. And the second move, as you see on my screen, this move right here is probably... The, one of my top go-to moves and it's the behind the back and it's not the regular just behind the back when you're dribbling it's the when you're running down the court behind the back and you just it's easy to do all you do is flick the analog you can you could be running turbo nine it don't really matter all you have to do is flick the analog backwards while you uh are running with the ball and you can easily do it i come to my career to practice this a lot uh it's very easy uh, this move right here, when I tell you, you can really dominate a game with this. It's very hard to stop this move. You cannot stop this move, actually. It's a team effort to stop this move. This behind the back right here, you just cannot stop it. I do this a lot, all the time, especially in Pro-Am. I go crazy, especially because I'm the point guard behind the back. Um, I'm wide open. I even can shoot. I can pass it out to someone. This move is a must no move you have to know this move is very easy to do very very easy so all you want to do man like i said before all you have to do is like running you're running down the court flick the right and log backwards or towards the way you're running to or where you want to run to and it's very easy i'm telling you this behind the back move is it's golden it's absolutely golden with the left and right cheese and Behind the back move, you can you cannot be guarded. You're gonna be looking like the elite cheese. You're gonna look like you be playing anti up and you trying to get the VC. This is absolutely crazy. And the next move, the next move, this move right here, is literally the most unguardable move in the game. Is the snatchback. The snatchback is so unguardable. It's very easy to do. All you had to do is you could be someone running right next to you, run on a fast break. Put it in law back really quick. Don't hold it back like you're shooting. All you do is snap it back, and you're going to easily do it with a snatch back. Just snap it back. It's very simple. Someone, someone on you, running, snap back with the right in log, and you got it. And it's, man, I'm telling you, it's very unguardable. If you if you like the mid-range shots, you like to, you like to just smack the mid-range all the time, this is for you because you cannot guard it. It's literally unguardable. This move right here is just cannot be stopped it just can't everyone should know this move every single archetype should know this move unless you're a center every every archetype like i said it's very easy to do all you have to do is be full sprinting snap the analog back and it's i'm telling you man this move right here is it's crazy i just snapped so when i tell you i just snapped 
so many ankles with this move. Like so many ankles. I just seen people fall down, can't get back, they're gone. Like their ankles retired. But y'all know what time it is. Now before I before 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 I end this, like I said, the three moves: the snatch back, the left to right cheese, and the behind the back. These three moves right are the most unguarded moves. You need to know these moves. These moves right here, you learn these moves, you will literally be unguardable. But y'all know what time it is. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And it's time to get it.